Hi guys, Richard from Forsyth Video here. It's been a while since I've done just a video where I kind of posed a question to you guys. And I've been thinking about something lately. Um, I've kind of seen this rise uh, lately in custom guitar companies, but what they're really doing is ordering kit guitars, putting them together, uh, putting a finish on, and selling them to you. Now, some of these will obviously use like really nice boutique pickups, things like that. I'm sure they make fantastic guitars. But my, my real question is, do you think that constitutes a custom guitar? Now, there's kind of two ways that I view this. So if you're doing that and you're telling people, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what you're getting when you order from me. I can see that. I'm not going to like, I never fault anybody for wanting to make money or especially the, the love of instruments, wanting to make instruments. However, it's hard for me to consider, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, it's hard for me to consider you a custom builder. That's coconut. It's hard for me to consider you a custom builder if you're not building custom bespoke instruments. So say I were to, the other way to look at it is there's people that build these things and they don't tell you that they're Chinese kick guitars or what have you, or some American kick guitars. Cause you can get body blanks and stuff that are milled here in America, nine times out of 10, same wood blanks and things that they use in China. You know, you're paying maybe for a quality difference, but if you're a custom company, it really shouldn't matter where you get the, the, uh, the raw stuff from the final finish is what you're doing. So I kind, of see, I kind of see it as maybe a little bit dishonest if you aren't telling people that, yes, while this is a custom guitar, I bought this neck from this Chinese company and I bought this body from this American company or whatever. If you're being honest about it, I kind of see it as okay. You know, obviously, once again, it's cool building instruments and uh, you, the people that can take uh, one of these body kits and make it into something incredible, those are awesome folks. But I don't know. I've just seen this rise when you can just tell it's hard to explain where you can just tell or you have an inside source where you learn that okay they're just buying these kit guitars and they're selling them as pure 100 percent custom guitars i don't know how to feel about that you know I, I it's kind of like somebody selling you a stratocaster and then one day you, you realize that the uh label uh the decal looks a little wrong and you realize you got sold a squire you know it's, it's a little different what do you think you know, you tell me, have you had experience with this? Have you seen anybody local in your area, whatever, doing custom guitars, but they're actually body kits? How do you feel about it? Uh, you know, personally, I think if you're a custom guitar company, you should start with blanks of wood and you should make the instruments like that. But if you want to sell kit guitars that you make, that's all good. It's just, I don't know that I would call you a hundred percent custom guitar company. A lot of what I do is take old things and make them into new things. That's the big thing I do. So I'm not going to fault people too much. I'm not trying to throw shade. So it sounds like it. I just think there should be, everything should be up front. If you're selling somebody a kit guitar, say, hey, here's a kit guitar. If you're selling somebody a purely bespoke custom made from scraps of wood guitar that you made yourself, tell them that. That's, that's your custom guitar company. I don't know. I just wanted you guys' opinion because it's, it's kind of such a weird kind of gray area. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And this video is purely for discussion. I want to hear what you have to say about that. And, you know, maybe we will update and, you know, maybe one day we'll do a kick guitar on the channel. I don't know. I have enough projects of, like, old guitars and things. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.